today we are just going to make this socks you know that from, we just start from this border and end it here it just takes only a couple of hours to finish it we are going to use this two two color wool ball for this so what i'm really going to do this this is just going to be and the main you know that sole and this main part of the socks and this is going to be on the border because it's a light color for this we for this socks we are just going to make need 8 mm needle it's a straight needle i'm just going to use instead of round or circular needle so i and this one is much better and easier for this we need 40 stitches so let's cast this Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, ninety, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, ninety. 20 so let's count it 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 30 32 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 so what we really do this is we need it to need to Paul. Do need This is going to be our front side. From back side also, two neat triple, two neat triple. We need this about two two inches this is our third line so what we really need this is need to ball two but we do this on each alternative knit it's a small pattern on bow on our border <coughs> we skip one and we put this pattern on this neat side it's a small cable knit make small cable and pull two knit two Ball two, make small cable on neat part. Knit 
need two purl two and we end it with a small cable at the end of it we need it until this is this two and a half inch now we have this you know that two and a half inch border let's measure this so at this time we really change the color of this wool what i'm really going to do do this is clip it and i'm just going to make a knot and so from now on what we really do this is just neat just neat even if on this there is ball here we just need it make this up. this is our fifth fifth neat pattern you know that this we count one two three four five but this one is the last one also not last one on border size two You must be thinking this is very small for adult size you know but you really don't have to worry about this size you know that it's a wool and it's just going to stretch it as I told you that it's going to fit to this fit size 36 35 36 and 37 This is our this is going to be our back side. So what we really do from this back side is we need it all lined up. Now we just need to pull two from the back side of our so socks. Need two and pull two. As I said that this is going to be our back side of the socks. This is the point we really start increasing our heel. So what we really do for this, you know, that heel is need two four five six seven eight right so i normally just mark it here and then need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 14 15 16 and we just turn back 16 here 16 here and 8 here so we normally turn back okay if you really want to do this marking here marking from here need to and ball two need to pull two need two pull two pull two once we have eight eight stitches here one two four six eight turn back and knit 
remember to do this on each alternate each alternate row plus we'll continue this on each alternate side also we just continue knitting it like 10 rows like this before we just take any further step now it's time to turn back knit two again turn back here we are at the last line of our heel making but every time we should not forget to make this you know that small cable as a pattern even on our hill we really do this this is on, on each alternate row we just do this and uh, with every alternate niche sorry we do this from back side we just need two and pull two So once we have 10, let's count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, because this is 10 is the all we need this for this hill, you know that. From this onwards, we just start picking and knitting it. Two, three, four, six, seven. eight nine ten pick this first row also as an 11 making it and now keep it here this marker but knit it anyway knit it here so here what we really do this is knit two and pull two because this is the back side right what we really know this is knit two and pull two So knit two here from this point onwards, knit two and just pull. I mean, I said knit, but it's a pull. Pull for some time. All you really have to do this pull one, pull. But here, 
need to and bow to To make it easy, I'm really going to pick it from here, from this to three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten we have already picked one from here remember so it's easy to knit it now all ball When you were at this point, need to, when you really see this, need to, but you just need it, need to, bow to, need to, bow. At this very point, we have 40 plus 10 plus 1 and 10 plus 1 11 11 we picked from here so we have 62 stitches on our needle so we are going to reduce this um, um, on on from each side of this you know that now we really do this all knit from this center in this front side of the socks remember to Two, four, six, eight. Remember to re knit two until you reduce all the stitches from here, your excess stitches from your for the hill. Every time you reach here, this marking side, need to. So that we'll just have our foot stitches on the needle and we'll also have a heel on our socks. Remember to make this pattern every time when it is it's time to make the pattern. From back side, all we really do is knit two and pull two. On back side, that we do not re reduce any stitches. It was only on the first row when we picked all this needle, and we just knit pull from all those excess stitches we picked up for the for our hill. To create our hill you 
here you have to need to and ball to No need to reduce any stitches from the back side. We really do this from front side only. I made a mistake, so let me correct it. We need it until we reduce all the stitches from our from this. So we need it. After eight, need two. So we keep reducing this. One, we really just make this uh, cable niche, and another row, we don't make this cable niche. So we continue knitting like this until we reduce all the stitches from on our heel from this. Make sure we just have 40 stitches on our needle. This is our third time from this front side after you know that every time we really just reach here we just need to to give a shape to our hill you know that we do this from both sides I made the mistake so we just need it from both sides when we really have market here. You know this from back side we need two sorry we need two and two ball need two two ball need to when you reach here we just need we only pull it instead of knitting it you know that this is this excess we just pick this for our hill so when it is time to knit we really just stick with our normal pattern really stick you know that 
at this back of this hill we just stick with our pattern knit to pull to for 16 stitches do you remember this this one side is easier you know that pull all the row it's not exactly all the row about this the all the stitches we extra stitches we picked this for our hill until this as we really can see this so here we we'll just go this knit two and pull two knit two and pull you remember that we really have to make pattern in one row and we do not have to make pattern in another row so we just knit it so you know that from the front side we knit it all knit and when we are here we always need to now we are halfway of the tower ankle one row we really have to add pattern and another row no pa it's a pattern holiday <laughs> We just need two from here. See? But pattern or, or no pattern, we just remember just remember to reduce the stitches from here. First, which is going to be our hill when we really end it. See our hill? And this looks like like this there are times that you really have to just you know that apply a pattern and this is the rule that we really must remember to apply a pattern and also remember to reduce the stitches which we really picked for our and this we are almost at the end of our hill niche and this is the pattern drill all neat neat but remembering to add pattern on each alternate neat part oh i remember forgot to reduce the this is this this side of hill redox inside we are almost at the end of our hill complete next row it will complete and like from back side you know this we just need to pull to need to and bowl two. This is our last row. When I really see that last row, last row to complete our hill. And luckily, this is the no pattern row. We don't have to worry about. We need it here. And now we have two pull and need two and pull two. We're all set. We're back to our foot stitches as in the beginning you know and when you really have photo stitches on here so we'll know okay, it is just done but it will just to reduce all this you know that starting it just takes 10 row and ending also it takes us almost 10 in fact perhaps 11 row 11 into 2 row not just 11 now here also two pull, two knit and two pull from back side, not from this front. And our knit hill is complete. Now we just have to knit it about ten more rows. Instead of using 
<clears throat> Instead of using um, um, this inch tip to make my socks, I normally just count this row. You know that this row, I just leave this and this I count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I need, we needed 26 for my size, which is 36. It is just going to fit for 35 and size 37 also. Let's knit one more last row and our socks will be ready for this winter. <clears throat> this is this pattern row. As you know that you really just make this pattern on each alternate stitch. Normally, you know that we are knit, knitting it whole row, but it's on, we just apply this pattern. On knit side only, not on the, on, on the pole side. Once we need that back row also, we're done. Let's knit it last row. You know this, we need to pull two. We need to Twenty six row and we are done. We can also regard this one as last row. What we really do this need to and need all double this whole entire row we need Knitting two together in taro. And like in the beginning, we just need two for the last row if we really count it let's count it two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty and twenty two what we really do at this moment is we just pull it we have twenty two so we just pull eleven stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven two four six eight ten and eleven so now what we really do this is double it up find another needle of the same size and 
need it. But here we need it, not to pull it. And end it. Knitting and ending it. Now, what I really do this key as usual, I really just insert my wool box, close it. Look what I really have in my hand. It is just going to be on the front of our own fit. I would like to use crochet to join these socks instead of you know that using needle to join it. So, what I'm really going to is pick this up pick this up when you really pick this up I think that we are just leaving one and we are picking one leaving one and picking one leaving one and picking one Just like the rows we counted in the beginning to end it, we'll have exactly 28, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26 and 27 because we really have this 26 and last one is 27. So I'm really going to use my needle sorry crochet here and I'm just going to join it I'm not good with crochet but I like this despite my flaw in it and Picking this one is easy, but because it will be not easy, so I already picked this up. This is for fine finishing. And you know that you know that picking this is easier but picking from this side would have been not so easier that is the reason I already picked this on the needle so that it will just is going to reduce my work easier as you really just see this and look it's a too neat and too pull they just you still cannot It does not look like the stitch one, joined one, sew part would not have been this better. So for fine finishing, we are sticking with this.
in case of doubt you can always count it one two three four and one two three four so you won't miss it you know that there won't be one is up and one is down mismatch is you can avoid it So this fine one, joined one is like, and if you really see it from this back, you just see this. This is what, it is, what is the result in the inside. So what I'm really going to do this is, insert this wool ball from here and secure this. We're going to use this for this border we're almost done I just clip this one to this and tie this knot here instead of needle I'm really going to use this for my border Pick this and this knot from this left side. Pick this and this knot from this side. You pick this and you pick this. We are at this end of our joining part. <coughs> this also should look like you know that chip to neat, chip all to neat, chip all, and pattern is just exactly the same thing here. So when you really just start when the casting need casting stitches keep this in mind also now our needle our socks is ready both of the socks are ready now <coughs> 